I am invisible. You cannot see me. I am in the fish that you eat on your plate. I am on the sandy beaches. I am everywhere. I am in the ocean. I am the microplastic. Tiny bits of unbiodegradable substances which last forever and ever. I am a microplastic that is digested by you, by the marine creatures, by your children, by your parents and the entire community. Wildlife, marine creatures and the ocean habitat. According to the United Nations, plastic makes up 80% of the total amount of marine debris present in the ocean, amounting to more than 8 million tons in our vital ocean ecosystems. This is equivalent of one garbage truck of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute. Our oceans are wading in marine plastic, so much so that at this rate it is estimated that the ocean will contain more plastics than fish. Every day approximately 8 million pieces of plastic pollution find their way into the oceans. There now may be around 5.25 trillion Marco and microplastic pieces floating in the open ocean. You cannot see me. 32% of plastic ends up littering the ocean. 40% is rotting in our landfill somewhere. Maybe 14% is incinerated and burned. Another 14% is recycled. But only 2% is actually recycled. So I never die. I live on in tiny micro-size pieces all over the world. So what does the future hold? The change begins with you. Audit your homes of plastic during the COVID isolation. Replace with glass or biodegradable packaging. Do not use plastic bags. Be the change that you want to see in the Every day, you go out and pick just one bag of plastics. If you, yes you, pick up one piece of plastic, one piece of plastic bottle or plastic trash, you can be the change. So be the change that you want to see around you. This is a special edition directed by Juma founder of Lacadavians in Lakshwati Islands of Android and Elsie Gabriel, founder of Young Environmentalist Program, Mumbai, India. Trained by former Vice President of USA, Al Gore, the Ocean's National Coordinator for Climate Reality Project. So, paradise all over the world, paradise beaches, paradise islands, and paradise plastic pollutions is what we're talking about. Pristine beaches of Lakshadweep Islands, archipelagos, white sandy beaches surround the luscious islands. But what lies underneath these waters are plastic bags, plastic bottles, synthetic fishing nets sometimes, plastic slippers, diapers. During these COVID isolation months, islanders have been trying to collect plastics from the beaches themselves. The Lacavadian team and the Young Environmentalist Program have been collaborating for over six months to rid the shores of plastic menace. If tourism accounts for almost 70% of these pristine islands, 
then what is plastic pollution doing? It is proving extremely damaging to its delicately balanced island ecosystems and is contributing to islanders' detachment from traditional ways of life. There should be a ban on plastics entering these islands altogether. There are many groups, activists, government officials doing regular cleanup in hope to sustain the island and protect its ecology. You cannot see me. Yes, I'm invisible. Plastics live forever. Even if you recycle me and you, I end up in recycled products, I still live on. So plastic trash simply throws up back on the beaches time again and again. No amount of cleanups is going to solve this pollution. Refuse plastics. Stop entry at ports. Shipping and airports is the only solution to a plastic-free Lakshadweep Islands, to a plastic-free world. So are you going to pick up a bag of plastics today? Yes, you can. You can be the change that you want to see around you. Remember, I am invisible. If you see me floating around, if you see me in slippers, bags and cans, make that change. Pick up that plastic, dispose it off and contribute to circular economy. But why buy plastics in the first place? Don't buy the plastic. Refuse it. Don't reuse it. Let's cut the plastic at the root. Go biodegradable. Make a cloth bag. Start a biodegradable packaging business. And you know what? You will be the change that you're looking for.